We mentioned this to you moments ago. United Airlines is at the center of yet another customer service issue, this time with passengers heading to Denver. One of those passengers spoke to our Denver 7, Sally Mamdu, with why United's apology to him and to other passengers just isn't enough. John tells me his United flight from Atlanta to Denver should have arrived at 6.13 p.m. yesterday. Instead, he was home 15 hours later, exhausted emotionally and physically. For John Murray, United flight number 453 was enough for him to get rid of his United mileage card. We're done with them as an airline. John, who's a frequent flyer, was heading back home from a business trip in Atlanta. He says from the get-go, things didn't feel quite right for him. His flight boarded late, and then he says the pilot announced it would be a while until takeoff due to weight issues. And when the plane finally took off, John says it felt different. It almost seemed like it took more time than normal to actually get up. But that was the least of John's problems. Mid-air, he realized the duration of the flight was longer than the three-hour nonstop ticket he booked. When he checked the map, he noticed the plane was over Texas. Then... All of a sudden, the flight maps went away. All the DirecTV screens were off, and the Wi-Fi was shut off, too. John says the pilot then made an alarming announcement. We are experiencing what seems to be some uh, electrical fumes uh, in the cabin. Uh, we're going to make a precautionary landing in Lubbock, Texas. And with no way to reach his wife and kids, it was a tough moment for John. I'm still trying to connect up to the Wi-Fi to at least send her a message and say, hey, <laughs> I don't want to freak you out, but... John says they quickly landed in Lubbock, Texas, and then fire crews rushed in. We'll get some more information for you here shortly as far as what to, what to, to do next. He, as well as others, were stranded there for another three hours with just coffee crackers offered by the flight crew. In response, United sent us a statement saying, quote, we are reaching out to our customers to apologize and offer compensation. But John says the $150 voucher he got as a compensation isn't enough. It was very frustrating that 15 hours and endless emotional and physical exhaustion is only worth $150 to an airline. In Highlands Ranch, Sally Mabdu, Denver 7.